Hi, I'm Eleanor Keller, the Patient Experience Manager for OSS Health, and I want to talk to you about diabetes and your surgery. The objectives are to create a treatment plan to keep your blood sugar as controlled as possible, to discuss your meal plan changes, what to expect prior to surgery, what to expect during your hospital stay. As far as a diabetic treatment plan, it's more important now than ever to follow your diabetes treatment plan. People with well-controlled blood sugar have fewer problems during and after surgery. People with well-controlled blood sugar have fewer infections after surgery. Consult with your doctor who guides your diabetes treatment plan now and discuss how to get your diabetes in the best possible control in the weeks prior to your surgery. You will have a change in your meal plan because you will not be able to eat or drink after midnight the night before surgery, so you'll need to go off your normal meal plan. During the hospital stay, especially the first day, you may not feel like eating normally. These both may cause changes in your blood glucose level. Prior to surgery, the pre-admission nurse will call you prior to your surgery to let you know if you should take your diabetic medication the morning of surgery, if you may have anything to drink the morning of surgery, including clear juice, if you need to take your full or partial dose of insulin the morning of surgery. The stress and anticipation of surgery, as well as some medications we will give you, will raise your blood sugar. Check your blood sugar at home the first few days prior to surgery to know your blood sugar history and please write it down and bring it with you. We need you to bring that blood sugar log to the hospital. Prior to surgery, your blood glucose will be checked. For your safety, if your blood sugar is 300 or above, your surgery will be canceled. We know that the stress of surgery will raise it even higher. During your hospital stay, the nurses and patient care techs will monitor your blood sugar four times a day. That's before each meal and at bedtime. Based on your blood sugar results, you may be given insulin coverage to reduce your blood sugar, even if you do not take insulin at home. The goal is to maintain your blood sugar below 180 to promote healing and decrease the potential for infection. As far as eating in the hospital, your doctor will probably order a special diabetic diet while you're in the hospital. OSS's diabetic diet is based on carbohydrate counting. This may not be familiar to you. At OSS, we use, at your request, meal services. You can order anything from the full menu between 7 a.m. and 8.15 p.m. The menu is set up to help you with ordering. The dietary staff will also help you count your carbohydrates. Your menu will be set up with the number of carbohydrates per choice. For some diets, you can choose three C's per meal. The nursing or dietary staff will help you if you need. We ask that you tell the nursing staff when you order your meals so they can make sure you have your blood sugar test and your medications prior to eating. This is just a sample of the C's and how many carbohydrates some of the foods have. Some main points to remember, when you're having surgery, it's important to follow your diabetes treatment plan to prevent complications and infection. The day of surgery, if your blood sugar is over 300, your surgery will be canceled. Your blood sugars will be checked four times a day after surgery. The goal is to keep your blood sugar below 180. You may require insulin to treat your blood sugar even if you don't take insulin at home. You will be able to order your diet at your request while in the hospital. You will be limited on your carbohydrates in the hospital. We ask that you work with the nursing staff to coordinate your meals, blood glucose checks, and medications to keep your blood sugar less than 180 while in the hospital. If you have any questions of any of this information, please call the Patient Experience Manager at 717-718-2031 or your surgeon's office at 717-848-4800.